Hi, welcome back friends. In today's video, we will talk about a very useful add-on feature for Home Assistant and that is how to force update the value or state of a sensor or another entity in Home Assistant. If you want to do it once in a while, you can manually do this from state section in developer tools. Just click the entity name, enter the value and click set state and this will change the value of the sensor instantly. But what if you need to do this repeatedly? If you think you can create an automation for that, you cannot. As by default, there is no command or service to set the state of a sensor manually. A few days ago, one of my subscribers was stuck in a similar situation where he wanted to automatically change the value of an old and non-functional sensor by taking the value from a new sensor. So how can we achieve this? After so many failed attempts, I finally found a way to add a new service to Home Assistant called Set State using a Python script. <laughs> don't worry, you don't need to learn Python for that. It's just a simple copy and paste method. So let's get started. Around two years ago, in my video number 30, I had first explained about using the Python script in Home Assistant. To use the Python script method, you need to download a folder named Python scripts from the link provided in the description and paste it inside the config folder of your Home Assistant. Then you need to add python underscore script colon line in your configuration.yaml file and restart Home Assistant. If you want to learn more about it, do watch video number 30 after this video. I have provided its link in the description too. If you are already using Python scripts in your Home Assistant, you just need to copy a file named set underscore state dot py from the downloaded folder and paste it inside your existing Python scripts folder. After this, you need to reload Python scripts configuration. And now you have activated a new service in Home Assistant called python underscore script dot set underscore state, which allows you to change state of any sensor or entity from an automation or script. Let's see how to use it now. Suppose we have these two sensors. The first sensor is updated every minute or two while the second sensor state is unavailable. So now if I want to change the state of the second sensor using our Python script service, we need to type the service name as python underscore scripts dot set underscore state. In data field, we have to provide the sensor name to be updated and the new state value. Press call service and you can see that the sensor state has changed to the given value. So it's working perfectly fine. Now consider a scenario where we want to keep track of our first sensor value and update the second sensor with the same value as and when the first sensor value updates. This is what my subscriber wants. To achieve this, we need to create an automation. In trigger, select template and paste this template here. What this template will do is, it will compare the value of both our sensors. And whenever the values are different, it will trigger the automation. And once it's triggered, we will replace the sensor 2 value to match the updated value of the sensor 1 using another template in actions. Now look at the values of both sensors in this dashboard. 
we can see that the second sensor also updates whenever the first sensor value changes. So this was all about this set sensor service. If you like the idea, do let me know in the comments below. Consider subscribing this channel if you haven't already. You should also join VCC Ground Telegram channel for deep discussion on home automation stuff. So that's it for now. I'll meet you in the next video soon. Till then, goodbye friends.